Well, the it, the latest increase shows about an eight percent increase of of hospitalizations, and we still are below. Um, we're we're at about sixty five percent capacity in San Diego County, 65, 70% capacity. So we still have, we, there's still room and a lot of that capacity, only 10% of those hospital beds are COVID patients. They're not all COVID patients that are in, in these hospitals. So a lot of them are the people that were getting elective surgeries or people there for other illnesses and sicknesses. So it's not just COVID. We've also been taking people from Imperial County. You know, and I can't, we probably get about a handful of people from Imperial County each day because of their capacity. They just don't have the, the system in as many hospitals as we do in San Diego County. So if you look at that four or 5% number, we've been testing at that, you know, at that number since day one. Roughly, it was always been in the signal that single digits of those testing positive. So if 4% of our uh, testing at 4%, you could, you know, uh, uh, rationalize that and say, well, 4% of our population has the virus, okay? But not all of them, matter of fact, most of them are not showing symptoms. And that's, that's what we know about the virus. That's the data we've learned. So they're not showing symptoms. So what we're doing is that we're counting now because the, the age number is, uh, the average age of people having the virus is coming down because we're testing those that, may, that have the virus. But out of that potential group of people that, have, that potentially has the virus, it's only one half of 1% that are hospitalized, and even a smaller percentage of those that are dying. You know, I, I don't like seeing people dying or hospitalized, hospitalized, but is it worse, you know, we gotta weigh the risks and balances of shutting down the whole economy or shutting down sectors of the economy again, instead of going at, you know, more precisely, going after the bad actors, not a bad, not an entire sector. Let's uh, talk about what's expected from the governor today. We are going to be looking closely to him because he seemed to give an indication yesterday when he gave his daily briefing that there could be more restrictions coming. Uh, some sources have said, and it has not been confirmed, but some sources have said that we could see more beach closures in California ahead of the 4th of July weekend. Do you have any insight on what's expected? Have, have county officials been given an update as to that possibly happening here in San Diego, like we're seeing in Los Angeles County? Uh, yesterday it was brought up, but there was no um, indication that, that there would be any shut, uh, shutdowns at that point in time. Uh, and the numbers really haven't increased dramatically. We have had a few uh, community outbreaks, we've still, that trigger is still hit. That's one of 13 triggers. Uh, so we, you know, there's no indication the governor, he didn't call me this morning. I wish he, you know, I wish he would, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I, I really kind of crossing my fingers, you know, sunshine and outdoors, you know, really help beat the virus. And, and I think we should be encouraging people to get outdoors. If we, you know, make everybody go back inside, close, close rooms and close buildings, that's where the virus has a better opportunity to, you know, to, to manifest or, or, you know, you have a better chance of getting it as opposed to being outside with the winds blowing and at the beach. And I think, I think the beaches are probably more are safer than, uh, than staying in at home. All right. Well, we'll see what happens today, but Jim Desmond, appreciate uh, your time this morning as we uh, try to strike this balance between reopening and uh, keeping things under control. So thank you for the time this morning. Thanks Lauren. Okay. Stay safe.